No cup holders. So the spacers and bearing on the Yeti fit pretty tight, which is important to get it to spin nicely, but it makes it hard to get out. There's three situations you can find yourself in. Uh, two spacers and the bearing being stuck, just one space in the bearing or just a spacer. You could uh, put the axle into the other half, put it in not all the way, and then just kind of wiggle it back and forth. You don't want to wrench too hard on one side but it should pop out pretty nicely or you could always use the trusty pliers the bearing you can use the yo-yo factory tool that fits in really nice but that might happen so then you'll have to use the axle yetis do need to be tuned so we actually recommend that you try not to take the halves apart as much as you can and use like a pick um, to take out knots and stuff. But if you did take it apart and put it back together and it's not quite what it used to be, um, this is how you kind of find that sweet spot again. Most of the time is tightness, so if you just wrench on it a little bit more it, and then give it another throw, it should be alright. Or even loosening it a bit. If not, you can try taking it apart and like putting the axle into one half completely or the other half. Give it another nudge. Sometimes I've found that even just by playing the Yeti, it'll sort itself out after a while. As far as string wear goes, you know, these are sanded uh, to prevent that, but if you are finding problems, what you can do is just go to your local hardware store, pick up a sheet of 600 grit sandpaper, or um, 1500 grit even work better if you can find it. Rip off a block. The important thing to note is you want to get into that response groove a bit, and work on the edge. That's usually the spot that'll cause problems. When you're done, get some water and uh, do a wet run through as well. You know, it should be good to go, but if you're still having problems, just let us know. You can send it in and uh, we can do it for you as well.